November twenty fifth, Monday. Praise God's partisans, me, my church, and my field. Twenty four, twenty five, and eternity. Acts chapter nine verse fifteen. But the Lord said to Ananias, Go, this man is my chosen instrument to carry my name before the Gentiles and their kings, and before the people of Israel. Remnants must resolve to become the main figure who will gather, heal, and raise multi-ethnic people to become the summit. They must also become the secret squad of the church, creating the three courtyards. Without these three courtyards, world evangelization cannot be achieved. That's why remnants must look at the evidences of the three courtyards in the Bible. First. All the remnants went to powerful nations that had these three courtyards. God sent those remnants as slaves or adoptees because that was the way for them to reach Egypt. However, before they went to these powerful nations, the seven remnants became the spiritual summit. Second, because the early church lacked these three courtyards, God raised Paul. As a result, God sent him to the courtyard of the Gentiles. And the courtyard of healing. Moreover, God also sent Paul to synagogues, which served as the courtyard of the summit where remnants were nurtured. Third, now remnants must begin to testify as the eighth remnant. By holding onto this covenant, they'll be able to save all nations. Furthermore, they'll be able to provide the answer of Christ, heal all people, and raise other remnants to become the summit. From this moment on, remnants need to take on the small mission of creating these courtyards in their lives, churches, and fields. Dear God, help me become the remnant who receives and delivers the covenant that's in the Bible and prays for the three courtyards. I pray in the name of the living Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.